I'm John, Tech Sport Team member with Headsight. Today I'll be walking you guys through a header calibration for the Horizon system. We're going to start with a manual calibration. To get started, I want to preference this with the head has already been set and set up for success. We've leveled the snouts and we've set the header to manufacturer recommendations. Um, so moving forward, uh, because the head has been set up for success, we'll uh, be able to get a better header calibration and better performance out of the system. So to get started, I'm going to move over here to my monitor. So since this is a John Deere S series and has four aft tilt, I want to make sure that my four aft tilt has been set to where I want it to be, which is zero. So I'll go to my menu, make sure my four aft tilt is set to zero. Once I've confirmed that, I'll go into my ISO pages, find my horizon app, and then you'll see a calibrate button on the right. When you're ready to calibrate, hit that button. It'll show you all of your current voltages, uh, where they sit. We want all these to be within two tenths while the head is off the ground. Because we're doing a manual calibration, I want to make sure that my easy cal is not check marked. Once I've confirmed all of this, my 4F pitch is set to where I want it. I can make sure the header is completely off the ground that none of the sensors are touching. So once I've confirmed that, I will hit OK. It'll have me lower the head until the snout tips are just touching the ground. So I'm going to do that. Snout tips are just barely touching. All my voltages look good here. I'm gonna hit OK. And then it's gonna have me lower the header all the way down. So once my header is completely down and resting on the ground, double check my voltages one last time. Hit OK, and it will provide you a score. So we got a 91. Anything above an 80 can be considered acceptable. Uh, if you get a lower score, uh, it'll give you some pointers as to how you can improve that score. Once you've calibrated and you have a good score that you're comfortable with, you'll need to go through and finish by doing your combines calibrations, and then you'll be ready to get going. 